hey guys welcome back to my channel for another video so this is a very very informal intro but i did want to do an intro to this video because um i just wanted to explain a little bit but um i just got done cleaning and as you can see this little guy is not getting out of my arms and he's messing with my stuff um but this is a um, collaboration that i am doing with some other youtubers from the we love collabs facebook group and this is the dollar tree bathroom organization ideas and hacks video um, I will have a link to the playlist below so that you can check out their videos as well. Um, I did want to preface this video by saying that this is just like temporary organizing solutions um, inside my bathroom. Um, if you watch my moving vlog, then you guys will know we basically brought over everything that we had in our one bedroom apartment and put it in this apartment. We didn't buy anything new. We have bought very little for this apartment so far. We've been here about a month now and we have really gotten settled. We just got our big dining table, blah, blah, blah. Um, I just did a whole long vlog earlier this week. Um, so if you check that out, then you'll be able to see what we've done so far. But basically everything that I have in the bathroom is stuff that I already had. Um, I shop Dollar Tree all the time. So this is not the, like the reorganization and buying new stuff. Um, as part of my bathroom organization that I'm planning. This is just what I already had on hand um, just to get things organized and get it started. So um, with that being said, again, definitely check out the playlist below if you want to see how some others uh, organize their bathrooms using Dollar Tree products. And I will go ahead and get straight to the video. All right, guys, so this is inside my linen closet that's inside my bathroom. It is a very tiny linen closet. Um, my bathrooms are much smaller since I have two of them in this apartment than my previous bathroom um, in my old apartment. So that is the top shelf. That is completely unorganized. We're going to ignore that. Um, but I will preface this by saying this, and I said it in the intro probably, but this is not the bathroom organization video that I was planning on doing. These are all items that I've had before in my previous apartment. Um, these teal blue containers, I have a whole bunch of these. These are the only two I have. No, actually, I have one more underneath my sink. But a lot of these I put in our kitchen to organize my kitchen cabinets. Um, I mentioned before in, I think, a vlog, I have not bought um, anything for this apartment as far as decor, organization, anything. And if you watch my vlog that I put up earlier this week, I know it was extremely long. Um, then you guys, I did a little walkthrough of the apartment to show what we've done so far, but um, we have not done a whole lot. We basically brought over what we had from our smaller apartment and we are measuring out spaces and doing things. So um, like I said, this whole top shelf up there is not organized at all. Um, this is where all, all of our towels go and I have a whole basket of laundry that I need to put up now. And this is just empty space. This is where we put overflow toilet paper and paper towels. And then I have Grayson's old um, bath sling. He's too big for that now, but we're just holding on to it um, for now. So that's where that stuff is. Again, it's not really organized. But these are the Dollar Tree products that I have right now. These, I know that you can still get. I just bought these last spring. Um, they match this shower curtain set. This is the color. This, all of this is from our previous apartment. These are very, very old. These are from Dollar Tree, but I've had these for years. And I haven't seen them lately. I haven't been looking for them. But these are still available in, in all kinds of new colors and stuff. So basically, this bin is all of the adult medicine um, and the stuff that we are using right now or that we may need to use and have access to. Um, so um, just ibuprofen, we have some Q-tips back there, Icy Hot, um, just all the adult medicine. This basket is all kid medicine. Um, so all of, you know, the baby's Tylenol, the children's allergy medicine for CJ, um, all of that stuff, children's Tylenol, um, this is children's Tylenol, and then that's infant's Tylenol, excuse me, that's infant's Tylenol, and then that's children's Tylenol. Again, if you are um, not familiar with my channel, I have a seven-year-old, and then I have an eight-month-old, so again, completely different age ranges, so I have completely different medicines for them. This basket has stuff that we don't need to get to very often, but we can still reach it. So this is where I keep, um, and then just bigger items too. So I keep like my um, nail polish remover 
and my cotton swabs for my nail polish. Um, Alan's extra boxes of contact lenses are in there. Um, he has a prescription medicine for nausea because he gets um, extreme motion sickness, but he doesn't need it every day. He doesn't need it very often at all, but that's where it is. It's not something that he would need to get to on a regular. So that's the type of stuff that we have in these particular bins, and that's where we use the Dollar Tree bins the most. I do plan on getting more. Again, if we look up here where it's completely unorganized, that is all of our travel bags. We do travel a lot, so that's where we keep all our travel toiletries. This is all overflow products. Um, we do shop at Costco, so we buy things in bulk. So those are overflow of CJ's deodorants. Um, we have body washes back there, um, feminine products, a huge jar, of coconut oil. So that's that stuff. And then, like I said, towels and stuff. So I do plan on eventually getting more Dollar Tree bins and stuff to organize this. And when I do, I do have a, a actual full bathroom organization video coming. So this is the second area where I use Dollar Tree products. Again, I do apologize. It is not completely organized. But um, this whole under cabinet is pretty much all my stuff. As you can see, all of my feminine stuff and my hair products. So this is a Dollar Tree bin as well. These are the um, shoe boxes, and I have these literally everywhere. Um, CJ has some of these in his room holding like some of his Legos and small toys. He does have a, um, a cubed shelving system that is holding up his TV. is basically using as a TV stand, but he inside the cubes, he has like canvas bins in some of these um, in the different slots to organize his different toys and little doodads. I have some of these in the refrigerator to organize my refrigerator. Um, so I use these all over the place. I have them in my closet, obviously, to organize shoes and stuff. So I use these a lot. Um, I used to put my shoes in these only, and then I started keeping shoe boxes. And I think I'm going to go back to organizing our shoes with this because our we, have a, we still have a walk-in closet, but it's smaller than in the previous apartment. So I need to work on closet organization again. A video will be coming on that too once I get it done. But this is all the hair products that I use on a daily basis. My flat iron I don't use on a daily basis, but it's here when I need to get to it. But this is where I keep my brush, um, my hair conditioner, my hair grease, and just stuff like that. Again, I have it all in one big bin. I can get to it easily, but this definitely needs to be organized better. This is another one of those teal bins. This is the only thing of Allen's that is underneath here, but it's easy access for him. He wears contacts. So this is his contact solution, his contact case. He has his contacts in right now because he's at work. So when he comes in, and then this is extra just um, air freshener for the bathroom. So when he comes in and he needs to take his contacts out at night, he just takes his contacts out and then those are the glasses that he puts on and he wears his glasses at night until it's time for him to put his contacts back on the next day. So those are the two bins that I'm using in here. Like I said, normally I use a lot more um, as far as organizing bins and stuff like that. Like I said, I have a ton of these. I think I have like five or six more of these in different sizes. Um, even the two that you saw in my linen closet are two different sizes. Um, but I put them all in the kitchen because we have uh, way more cabinets in this apartment than we had in the previous one. So I really needed to organize the kitchen cabinets and I didn't have anything to organize the kitchen cabinets with. So once I do my cabinet organization and organizing my spice stuff, those bins will come back in here because again, this teal color matches my shower curtain and then I have a trash can to match and everything. So that's the color scheme in this bathroom. So I will bring those bins back in here and to help me organize this. Um, Grayson also has a bin this color um, that we currently use to hold his toys in the living room. Um, and I, it's a big, almost like a big beach pail that I will probably bring in to put at the top of this closet because I'm gonna get a different container to hold his toys in, in the living room that actually matches the living room color scheme. But again, when I do all that, there'll be videos coming for all of that. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed um, my bathroom organization using Dollar Tree products. Um, if you guys have any tips or tricks that you use um, to organize your bathroom using Dollar Tree products or lower cost products, definitely leave them in the comment section below. Um, I am definitely looking for new ideas and new tricks, especially um, because as I stated in the intro and in the video, this is just a temporary solution. These are just items that I already had on hand and um, I just brought here.
So I am definitely going to be completely reorganizing our master bathroom, but we also have a second bathroom, which is our main bathroom and the boys bathroom. So I definitely need to do some organization in there because they have like, you know, their bath toys and then um, some of the nicer stuff like I, I like to have for kids. Grayson's down on the floor. So if you guys have any tips, um, especially for kids' bathroom organization, because I've never had a separate kids' bathroom, um, and so that requires its own special set of organization, definitely leave me some comments down below. Um, definitely give this video a thumbs up if you like um, organization type videos, because I did mention before, I am looking forward to doing more of them on my channel um, for different areas of our new apartment. And subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.